So we're done with factoring the first method in finding the value of indeterminate form. So we have using conjugate. This will be our second method. Okay, so what is a conjugate first? Uh, a conjugate of a two-term expression is just the same expression with the subtraction switched to addition or vice versa. Okay, so uh, we're going to use the concept of difference of two squares. So we know that a squared minus b squared is just the quantity of a plus b times the quantity of a minus b. Now, what is the conjugate here? The conjugate or the conjugates is actually the factors. So a plus b is actually a conjugate of a minus b in the same way that a minus b is the conjugate of a plus b. Let's have some examples. So we have example 6. Evaluate the limit of the square root of x minus 2 all over x minus 4 as x approaches 4. First step is again to evaluate our function. Let's try to see if there is an answer. So substitute our 4 here. So we will have square root of 4 minus 2 all over 4 minus 4. And we know that the square root of 4 is just 2. 2 minus 2 is 0 all over 4 minus 4 is 0. And again, this is indeterminate. And whenever we have a, an indeterminate answer, we are going to use our methods. In this scenario, we are going to use conjugate. So, how did I know or how, in what examples or forms do we know that we need to use conjugates or where can we apply conjugates okay so first observe our given so very obvious here we have square root of x okay so to determine or at least to know when when to use conjugates we need to, to see if first the given is a binomial okay so there is a binomial in our given and aside from that uh, it is or there exists sometimes there exists a radical although uh, this is also applicable in some scenarios where there is no radical but most often times uh, conjugates are used whenever there are radicals okay so it is not necessary to have the entire function uh, having the radical it can be just part of the function one term of the function uh, possessing the radical so again, I know that I'm going to use uh, conjugate here because again, I have binomials, okay, a binomial here. Okay, now, observe which is the, which is the most complicated part of the function. Is it the numerator or the denominator? Of course, it is the uh, part with the radical expression. So, we're going to find the conjugate of the numerator. Okay, so let's try. So we have limit as x approaches 4. Okay, so don't forget to write that. Uh, square root of x minus 2 all over x minus 4. Okay, so again, the complicated part is the numerator. So, I'm going to multiply the conjugate of the numerator what is the conjugate of the numerator okay so the conjugate of the numerator is just the opposite sign okay opposite sign uh, factor or expression so uh, we just need to copy the terms square root of x and 2 then instead of minus we have plus and again if we multiplied something in the numerator we are going to multiply the same value at the denominator. So we have square root of x plus 2. Okay. <clears throat> Let's move a little. So multiplying our function. Okay. So what will happen to these two values here? This is now, or these are now factors of 
a special product. Uh, this special product is the difference of two squares. Okay, so square root of x, square root of square root of x is just x. Then negative 2 and 2 is just minus 4. Okay, so again, how did I find, found, uh, answer that? We are going to use uh, difference of two squares. Okay, so we're going to square the first term and uh, the last term, then it should be the difference, so minus. So what is the square of square root of x? It's just x. What is the square of 2? It's just 4. Then minus because it's difference of two squares. Okay, all over. So we're going to multiply x minus 4. Okay, so take note, do not multiply or simplify it. Just multiply it as is. Square root of x plus 2. Okay, so let's try to move a little bit here. Okay, now try to observe. Now, we can observe that we have x minus 4 in our numerator and in our denominator. Hence, we can cancel out. And what's left is 1 in the numerator. Okay, so we will have 1 over square root of x plus 2. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, by the way, that this is equals limit is equal limit of x as x approaches 4. Okay, now we can try to evaluate again our function. Okay, so let's try to substitute 4. Since we cancelled already the uh, value that makes the function indeterminate, which is x minus 4. Okay, so we cannot try to answer. We have 1 over square root of 4 plus 2. And this will give us 1 over square root of 4 is 2 plus 2, which is 1 over 4. Hence, our final answer is 1 fourth or in decimal, we have 0 0.25. Okay, so either 1 fourth or 0 0.25. Example number 7, we have the limit of the square root of x plus 1 minus 2 all over x minus 3 as x approaches 3. By substitution, so we know this is square root of 3 plus 1 which is square root of 4 minus 2. Square root of 4 minus 2 is 2 minus 2 which is 0 all over of course 3 minus 3 is 0 so again this is indeterminate form <clears throat> so observe that the given is this is still a binomial okay so why am I sure that this is a binomial because the entire expression under the radical symbol okay is considered to be as one term okay this is one term separated by minus 2 okay so binomial Hence, there is a possibility that we can use conjugates. Okay, so let's try. We have limit as x approaches 3. So, square root of x plus 1 minus 2 all over x minus 3. So, observe that the complicated part of the function is still in the numerator because again, the radical is in the numerator. So, we are going to multiply the Conjugate of square root of x plus 1 minus 2. Okay, so what is the conjugate of the numerator? Okay, so it is square root of x plus 1. Again, square root of x plus 1 is considered as one term. So instead of minus, we have plus. Still, it's still 2. Okay, so whatever we multiply in the numerator, we're going to multiply in the denominator. <coughs> so, uh, solving for this so we have now difference of two squares so what will be the, our difference of two squares so we will have we will square the first term so what is the square of the first term square of the square root of x plus 1 is just x plus 1 
Okay, so we'll have x plus 1 minus square of the second term. We have 2 squared, which is 4. Okay, so we have x plus 1 minus 4 for our numerator. Then for our denominator, as is. Do not uh, simplify, do not add. Just multiply the factor. So we have x minus 3. Again, this is one factor. Okay. Times square root of x plus 1 plus 2. Okay, then let's try to move down. Okay, so let's simplify further. What is? Uh, so we have limit as x approaches 3. x plus 1 minus 4 is x minus 3 all over x minus 3. Sorry, x minus 3 times square root of x plus 1 plus 2. Okay, so observe that we have x minus 3 for our numerator and denominator. Hence, this is cancelled, cancelled, and this is 1. Okay, so uh, 1 remains in the numerator. Okay, so we have 1 over... So we have limit of 1 over square root of x plus 1 plus 2 as x approaches 3. So we have now cancelled out the value of x or the factor that makes our function indeterminate. So next step is to substitute. So using substitution, this will give us 1 over square root of 3 plus 1 plus 2, which is, I'm sorry, uh, uh, which is square root of 3 plus 1 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. So you'll have 1 over 2 plus 2, which is again 1 over 4. Okay. So again, this is 0 0.25 in decimal form.